This is all about CO2 guns and the sort of problems you can get and expect and all about leakages. If you've got a CO2 gun and you've got a leak, you're not alone. It's probably the most common problem. Uh, so if you want to fix that, keep watching this video. So like I said, this video isn't about any particular CO2 gun per se, but um, just CO2 guns in general. And out of all the types of air guns, if you're going to get a problem, uh, a CO2 gun is probably the one you're likely to get it with. And that problem would probably be leaking gas. So um, all types of different guns, I'm just going to show you some basic ones here. Th this is a... Um, BB gun basically shoots plastic pellets 6mm. Not only is this uh, a magazine where you put the ammo, it's also got the CO2 cartridge in. So um, you, 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 you take this out of the gun when you want to replace your gas, it's got a screw thumb thread on the bottom there, you'd unscrew it, take your CO2 out, put a new one in and uh, away you go. So that type of gun with the removable magazine is opposed to as look this PPQ this is the first PPQ which is non blowback um, I've just got a magazine that fits in there um, the booty of these guns is because it hasn't got blowback uh, you got a lot more shots for your gas so this particular gun between 50 and 80 shots uh, I've done a video on that and actually measured it so that you know that's uh, a pretty good example um, a gun like this which is a uh, very popular gun, Gamel PT85. Um, you're lucky to probably get 30 shots out of that. But um, with blowback guns, the beauty of them is um, they're just great fun. Basically, this is a, a blowback gun, so you can either start the first shot by cocking it as normal, and um, or you can just pull the trigger. So that's single and double action in effect. Uh, and if this did have gas in it. Um, when you pull the trigger that indexes the magazine and the blowback is just operated and it doesn't actually do anything due to the laws of automatic firing guns and all the rest of it the blowback thing is just, just to make it the slide to make it look yeah, more realistic yeah, it feels it? really authentic you get a bit of kick off the gun it, it does feel like a real firearm so blowback guns are great fun um probably not as accurate because you've got that indexing with the trigger and, and give then you a real got, heavy trigger yeah and you got the real you know the the, the blowback action as well so um great fun so this uh pt85 to put the gas in this as opposed to the one where the magazine came out you just slide the, the hand grip off and there's all different types of guns they've got different methods so i'll show you the ppq in a second uh drop your new gas tank in there tighten this screw up and uh away you go now all most gun manufacturers recommend putting a drop of what they call pell gun oil on the end of your um let's just grab one so most manufacturers would recommend putting a bit of pell gun oil on the end of the cartridge there or even a bit of silicone grease um personally i use a sponge pad which i've loaded with grease just one little day i put that in and that will prolong your seal life in your gun although most manufacturers would say that once you put a new cartridge in to shoot that all up in one go um and don't leave it in your gun because uh, if you do, inevitably, when, when, yeah, when you go put a new one in, because that's crushed that seal down for so long or whatever, um, that then will we'll start to leak. Oh, and, and, and this is a, you know, uh, where's, where's the PPQ? There we go. So, so the PPQ, this from, uh, to, to put the gas tank in this one, uh, that has got a live tank in it at the minute. Um, it's, you know, ready to go. Now, at some point, if this gun was to leak, um, the chances are probably 90% as from the seal to seal. Um, we will show you how to fix that. Um, if uh, you know, if you've got the gun where the magazine come out, pretty much on a seal two gun, there's two places where that can leak. One is through the seal two seal right here, where it fixes into the gun. The other place that can leak is here, which is the valve where the hammer strikes the valve and obviously there's a moving pin there which has got seals and stuff that is another likely place to leak now if you've got one a gun where the um the magazine drops out with the seal tank in they are easier to check where it's leaking from you've got two places one where the seal 2 is and the valve so when i first put a tank in this gun that did leak a bit from that valve but then i stopped i guess the pressure got to a point where that, where that couldn't release it so this gun has got a problem with that but 
just lately that has actually been all right, depends on the temperature and all the rest of it. So there's two places a CO2 gun can leak basically. One is where the CO2 uh, fits into the magazine or actually into the gun if it doesn't have a removable magazine. With a removable magazine type gun, the booty of that is you can tell whether that's leaking from the actual tank or the valve. So if the valve is leaking, that will leak out of here or out the front where that's not sealing properly. And uh, that slot in there is to unscrew it and we will probably cover that in another video how to repair that but um, if you've got a gun like this where um, you can't get at the valve um, it's hard to tell whether that's from the gas tank or from the actual valve but what I said is 90% of cases uh, the leak is from the CO2 so how do you fix that? Now one way to fix these leaks is to get PTFE tape. It's just two different types of PTFE. You've got the plumbing type and you've got a gas type. And I've found the gas one is thicker, that's easier. And all you do is you get a little bit, you sort of wrap it around the end and over the top there, rip it off, stick it in your gun, and nine times out of 10, that will cure the leak. Uh, if your gun is still leaking then, that's probably possibly coming out of the valve. And unless you've got one of these removable magazine types, that's not easy to determine where the leak is actually coming from. So if you do the PTFE trick and your gun is still leaking, that's more than likely that's in the internal valve on the gun and you will have to then strip the gun down. So um, again, a, a booty of this type of mag, a lot easier to work on. Um, you can tell where the leak is coming from. So that's one advantage of this type of gun that has a removable mag. So um, if you don't want to mess about and um, use PTFE tape on your gun there is a chance of that obviously sticking inside your gun and all the rest of it. Uh, there is a company called shootfish.co.uk related to this channel and we've come up with a, um, a, a sort of instant fix for the leak out of the um, gas bottle and uh, what it is has these uh, rubber seals they are 3D printed from um, TPU flexible material um, that's my own design um, we put a lot of R&D into this. There has been a lot of R&D into it. There's a reason into, why we come yeah, up yeah, with yeah. it. It's because we had, a, yeah. so, we had um, enough of our CO2s going so wrong. So it's basically that's a little rubber cap. All that does, slips over the end of the CO2. You, you then load it into your gun, whether that's that type or, or, or this type. Let's see if there's uh, there is one in there. Uh, this one didn't have one in, did it? So what I'll do, I'll just show you putting it in the gun. Now, another this, thing. That gun actually does leak if you don't use one. Yeah. Now another thing is, um, again, we're not saying you've got you've got to have these, but the PTFE will do it. But this is so much easier. These are reusable. I would say two, three times, possibly. Uh, they'll look a lot different yeah, once you they, pull they, them out because yeah. they'll they'll form yeah. to the to the yeah. seal. Yeah, and if you've got any gas left in your tank when you release it, that will freeze the rubber. And if you try and put that back in your gun too quick, that will crack rather than seal. So you need to let that get back to room temperature. So what you would then do, um, you drop in your gun. And also, um, most manufacturers will tell you to not leave the gas. Now, I've done that up and I didn't even hear a I, huh? That was slight, but I, yeah, when you hear I didn't even hear it. So I've tightened that up the, the sort of normal. And don't overdo it if you if you but they really don't give you the big hiss that you normally that you expect filling one up without no, it. No, no, sometimes, um, no, sometimes, obviously, when I was prototyping these things, if that thickness has to be just right because otherwise the tank won't punch you. So we'll just test. Wow, <laughs> that definitely punches. Uh, hang on, I've over overloaded my audio, <laughs> right? So, um, another seals. bonus of the seal pros is that, um once you've put the gas in your gun, I think they give them a bit more power. I don't know, I will have to test out with a crony and perhaps do some sort of scientific proof on that. But what I've noticed is, like as this gun has had the CO2 in for months, months and months, and normally that would have leaked out. But when I use the CO2 seal pro, um, it just keeps the pressure, it doesn't leak out over time. I'm not saying there's, uh, after 12 months that would work, I don't know, but all I'm known is, all I know is well, probably my, six, my, six months. If anyone's been watching the channel for a long time, they'll know my 1911 that I've got and how leaky that was when we've been doing videos. Yeah. I've had one of those in there. You're going to chuck that away, weren't you? For, yeah, for close to six months and are still holding its gas. So my PPQ, there's still plenty of power now. I shot that today on my ten, new 10 meter range. And um, yeah, that, I, I think they they hold hold the pressure without leaking. So um, available from shootfish.co.uk. Um, obviously that 
is basically related to this channel. We invented and, and prototyped and brought this product to market. So you don't have to buy them. You can use PTFE tape. Um, that's pretty much the the only two places are CO2 gun can leak, basically, from the CO2 cartridge or the valve. Um, I've sold a lot of these seals. I've now got my own website. I used to sell them on eBay, which I don't anymore. So they're only available through shoefish.co.uk. Um, probably two out of 100 people said, oh, they didn't work in my gun. And I then said to them, well, maybe that's not worth leaking. Check the valve. And if, you, if you're certain that they're not working, I'll give you a refund. And they never got back to me. So I would presume 90% of the leaks are from the seal 2 carriage. Um, CO2 seal pool, that will fix it. Check it out, shootfish.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I hope that's enlightened you a bit about CO2 guns. Uh, they are great fun. Um, obviously, the cost of running them, you don't want your gas leaking out and all the rest of it. So, um, again, I am pushing. With CO2 guns, they look great, yeah, yeah. but they don't last five minutes with, a, with them hard yeah. plastic seals. And I'm not going to lie, this is my product. I'm obviously pushing it, but I wouldn't push something that I didn't know that well, worked. We, ma we made it because we saw a gap in the market well, and we, had we a problem. needed something. Well, well, there we was had a problem. problem and we fixed it. Yeah, I bought this 200 pound gun and within six months that was leaking. So, what do you do? Take a bag? Do you. Do you that's the same thing that's yeah. going to happen again. So, yeah. I've come up with a solution to the CO2 leak problem. Yes, I'm pushing it. Yes, it works. You don't have to buy that though. You can use PTFE tape, does exactly the same thing. But I don't know if you're airsoft and, and you know. But to I mean, be fair, you're quite new to the CO2 gun world. I've had them for over 20 years and yeah, it's always yeah. been a problem. Yeah. And that's the best fix I've yeah, seen yeah. so far. And I didn't, I never liked the idea. Like, I'd get my gun out, <coughs> I'd have, you know, I don't know, half a dozen, dozen shots and think, well, I'll put it away and get it out later. Go get it out and. Empty. Uh, empty and you think wow I spent a quid on a gas tank yeah uh, so yes the you know these do cost money obviously but you can reuse them um, well worth it I think they give you more power as well I think they stop the guns leaking out over time thanks for watching I hope I enlightened you on the buoys and the downfalls of CO2 guns um, I use them all the time great fun thanks for watching hope you learned something see you next time